Hey besties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jada Simone and you're watching Jada's channel. I don't love just anyone. I am not just anyone. I rock heels, I rock Jordans. And I wear wigs and rock my natural. Can you believe it says I'm pretty but with dark skin? So yes, in honor of my birthday being this month, actually coming up in a few days, October 27th, we are going to be doing another birthday themed story time. And quick disclaimer, I'm filming all these videos on the same day, so same disclaimer I've been giving. If I sound sick, I am sick. I have a head cold. I don't have to bid a head cold. But yes, I don't want to make this video too long because it's honestly a short video. It happened all in the span of like a month three weeks or so so I just want to dive right into the video um disclaimer again I am in no way shape or form bashing anybody and um this story is just my personal experience and if you can learn from my experience if you do know who this person is I suggest that you do learn from it um I'm not the only person to complain about this person I've heard multiple people I have, I have friends who have complained about this person not delivering on what they have promised to deliver them especially on their birthdays so yeah that's why I felt inclined to make this video and y'all like my story time so let's just dive right in so we're gonna call the photographer what, what should we name her Kodak we gonna name her Kodak because Kodak camera y'all know Kodak yeah Kodak because she a photographer Kodak <laughs> so um, okay, so the photographer's name is Kodak so she's a very well-known photographer in my city and you know if you know where i live you know you probably know who this photographer is do not comment down below i don't want no drama no none of it like it just is what it is i will never use her for, as a photographer ever again in life so yeah so yeah so kodak is a very no well-known photographer this was not my first time working with kodak i actually worked with kodak for a bikini photo shoot I did for my brand I want to say a few months prior so it was like summer 2020 I did like my summer 2020 line with her so yeah so for that line I did notice that like I like I love the pictures right off the bat like I didn't need them to be retouched or anything I just used the pictures as is the raw images so that's probably why I didn't experience what I experienced with my birthday pictures with her but we'll just dive right in so I have all the receipts on my old iPhone so I'm just gonna be reading them off so I remember because my memory is not the best honestly but um yeah let's see let me scroll all the way to the top because it's, it's a lot so okay so I said hey Kodak it's Jada you did my shoot for my clothing line in June and I absolutely and I absolutely loved it I want to book you again for my birthday shoot I'm thinking next weekend at 6 p.m. my birthday is October 27th let me know if that works for you and how much and how much so I can send my deposit so it took her a while to respond um no it didn't take her that long to respond um it took that was october 6th at 10 48 i remember i was at work and she loved the she loved the message and then she responded at 2 19 the same day and she said hey saturday at six works if that's good for you it's a hundred dollars the deposit is half what do you have in mind for your birthday photo shoot so I responded immediately after she texted me at 219 I responded at 221 so I said I meant to put next Wednesday with an asterisk because I didn't mean to put next weekend I meant to put next Wednesday at 6 p.m. I work on the weekends and then I responded immediately after that at 223 and I said but I was thinking two different looks one monochromatic nude slash brown look because y'all know that's my vibe with a bunch of different shade new balloons and then an all pink Barbie type look. So, she did not respond to that. So, October 7th at 3.40 the next day, I texted her again. I said, hey Kodak, is next Wednesday at 6 p.m. good? And is your cash app still money sign at Kodak cash app dot com <laughs> so I can send you the money? So Kodak did respond immediately after I sent her that last message. She said, hey, yes, that works. I can get the balloons and stuff today. And yes. So I loved it. Then she's like, she was in Newark now and she sent me the address. 
so I liked it I said perfect thank you so much I was gonna get the balloons but that's fine I saw all the colors at Party City and I sent her the full hundred dollars so the photo shoot costed a hundred dollars like and she's known for she does do really great work she's known for an amazing work but you know only charging a hundred dollars like a photo shoot with her is only a hundred dollars like my photo shoot I did for my bathing suit line I think I only paid 120 because I had to pay like a hundred an extra five dollars per person that was in it or something like that so she's very cost effective but she does do really great work so I just sent her the whole hundred dollars like here you go here's the hundred dollars then I sent her some reference pictures and then I said do you think and then I said my bad y'all um it's a lot going on it's the braces the cold is a lot but I said do you think we can do something like this with the reference pictures she said yes that'll be nice I love the message she said I got it thank you I said okay see you Wednesday so October 13th at 7 10 p.m. I say hey Kodak I have a problem my dresses were supposed to be here today and now it's saying they'll be here Thursday is there any way we can reschedule for this weekend I work Saturday until 6 p.m. so maybe Saturday 7 p.m. or anytime Sunday Kodak did not respond so the next day at 10 48 a.m. Um, and like I said, like it wasn't no one's fault. It wasn't her fault that my dresses didn't come in time. I ordered my dresses from Pretty Little Thing and I did express. So, you know, sometimes like it comes earlier than it's supposed to. Sometimes it comes when it's supposed to and sometimes it'll come the day later. So in my case, it came the day later. So it was like I was panicking. So I was just thinking like, okay, you know, can we push it back instead of Wednesday? Can we do Saturday instead? Yada, yada, yada. So she didn't respond and keep in mind there's a lot of not responding like y'all saw before she wasn't you know i had to keep double triple texting her so i double texted her the next day at 10 48 a.m and i said good morning it's still saying my package is in edison because they was holding it in edison new jersey for whatever reason but um i said it's still saying my package is in edison and that it'll be to me by tomorrow i'm sorry for the inconvenience so she responded at 12 14 she said good afternoon it's okay do you still want to do tomorrow i said yes we can do tomorrow so we scheduled it for the next day or whatever so she said what time works for you i said we can do 6 p.m question mark oh no i said can we do 6 p.m question mark she said yes that's fine okay thank you so much see you then so this was october 14th let's see what day october 14th was on of last year October 14th was that Wednesday so that was the Wednesday that I asked her for but my dresses weren't supposed to come until Thursday so we rescheduled it until that next day Thursday so no problem you know we rescheduled it everything was good so um I said thank you so much see you then so October 15th um the day of the photo shoot wait was it oh no no so we rescheduled it to that Friday because my dresses weren't supposed to come until Thursday I know I'm, I'm a little confused right now too so it was supposed to be Wednesday my dresses weren't supposed to come until Thursday we rescheduled it until Friday the 15th so on October 15th at 5 51 I got there early um me and my mom we went to go get the um the props the balloons everything I, w I had everything ready my makeup was done my hair was done everything was done so I say hey I'm outside what floor is it so um i'm pretty sure she ended up coming to get us or whatever because um she didn't respond but i will say that she did have us waiting for quite some time because we were down i was downstairs in the car mind you this is october and right now october 2020 um it's kind of warm like it just now started to heat up and it's current i mean it just now started to get cold and it's the 21st of october but last year it was freezing on that day i remember it was so cold it was so windy so we were in the car and then um i had to keep calling her for her to um well i don't think i had to keep uh, but I, I had to call her because she never responded and then like she ended up coming downstairs to get us so that was that so on her website i'm pretty sure it says um is either a seven to ten day turnaround time for your pictures so it does not say seven to ten business days it says seven to ten day turnaround time so I still scheduled my photo shoot within that seven to ten day time frame and I told her when my birthday was so keep that in mind guys we did the photo shoot on the 15th my birthday is on the 27th so that is 12 days in between 
12 whole days so from the 15th to the 27th that is 12 days in between so that was ample time for her to send me my edits so she sends me the link with all my pictures i love it and then um she sends that link to me on october 15th at 10 25 p.m so i love the link and i responded to her at 11 36 i said omg i have to pay you for extra edits because i'm in love with all of them because you get five free edits with your session so with the hundred dollars you get five free edits so i was like i'm just gonna have to pay you for extras because i'm in love with all my pictures so on october 17th i almost saw her name I said, hey Kodak, I narrowed my favorites down to 18. I was wondering if we could do two of like the triplet edits with the pink background. So what I mean by triplet edits is I wanted there to be three of me, but in different outfits, doing different things that correlated, if that makes sense. So that's why I said like triplet, because it would be three of me, triplets of me. So like I was telling her what I wanted. I showed her the reference pictures. I sent her the exact pictures that I wanted for the triplet images of me. I said, "So these three for the first edit. So that would be one picture with the th with the three different the three different me's. That would be one picture." And then I sent her three more of me's for the second picture. So altogether I sent her six pictures for two different edits of the triplet picture if that makes sense i hope that makes sense and then i said and these three for the second one let me know how much more i owe you and i'll send it now so even though i only um sent her six pictures i get five edits for free i sent her six pictures technically them six pictures were really only supposed to be two pictures because it would be three in three of the pictures would be in one picture and then we shot on all brown backgrounds but she was supposed to edit um two of the looks so one look was supposed to be a pink background one look was supposed to be white and then the other look was supposed to be brown that didn't end up happening but let me continue so she never responded after what i sent her on uh, this was the 17th so remember october 17th i finally picked out my edits and that still gives you 10 days to get me my pictures back to me on october 23rd because my friend actually had a photo shoot for her brand i want to say right before i sent this message to her or like either the night before i sent the message it was the photo shoot or like the night after i sent her this message but either way while i was i went with my friend to her photo shoot and she was like oh yeah i'm almost done with your edits i'm gonna send them tonight and that was like on a friday or so so that was way before my birthday i think it was like the friday before my birthday and my birthday was that next tuesday so she um so i she, she never responded to what i had told her but um she had gave me confirmation at my friend's photo shoot that she was almost done and that she was sent to me so uh, on october 23rd let's see what day october 23rd is in 2020 so october 23rd so yeah that friday so i texted her that same night i guess so on october 23rd at 10 07 i said hey kodak my birthday is tuesday will the pictures be done by then or is it possible that I can have at least one by Tuesday? Because even if the pictures wouldn't be done, because like I said, she promised me that they would be done and she would send them that night. But I was like, even if they're all not done, can I at least have one to post on Instagram? At least one picture. I don't care. You pick the picture, at least one. So she responded. So that was at 10 a.m. So she responded at 3 p.m. She said, hello. Yes, I started last night. I have a few more. Mind you, while we were in person, she said that she only had one more to do, but now you're saying you have a few more to do, but okay. So I responded at 841 later that day. I said, yay, okay, how much do I owe you? Mind you, like I said, it, um, you know, I had extra images. So I was going to pay her for the extra edits. And I asked her twice, how much do I owe you? Because I already gave her the full hundred dollars for my shoot. But I, you know, I wanted to get extra edits. So I was like, how much do I owe you for the extras? This is the second time I asked. So she sent me a voice note. Um, I'm about to play it, but I'm gonna like bleep it out because I don't want y'all to know who it is. So yeah. So um, I was like, how much? You know, this is the second time me asking. She never responded. So that was October 23rd. So now October 24th, 2020, at 10:28 a.m. At this point is my birthday. I was born at 10:25 in the morning. I'm born already. I was born three minutes ago. So I was already a little annoyed because I still didn't get my pictures. And you promised me my pictures October 23rd. 
and it's already october 27th it's four days later and mind you my photo shoot was 12 days before my birthday and i chose the picture is 10 days before my birthday and your turnaround time is 7 to 10 days so either way i should have got my pictures the day of my birthday the day of my birthday i said hey kodak how are you feeling today are the images ready because she did mention during my friend's photo shoot that she hadn't been feeling good and that she wouldn't be taking any more clients for the rest of the month if she was going to slow down because, you know, her health or whatever. So, um, in this voice message, she was just saying, like, hey, yeah, I'm okay. I'm on my way to the studio, and then I'm going to send them. So, I said, okay, thank you. Today's my birthday, and I really want to be able to have them. So, she did not respond. And that was at 10.28 a.m. on my birthday. So, at 11.55 p.m., five minutes before my birthday is over i said hey i really don't mean to be annoying i just was hoping i'd have at least one picture done by today which i said i told her i was like at least give me one so i said my birthday is basically over and i don't have anything i didn't want to rush you or be that annoying client because i know your work is amazing and you always do a good job i'm just really upset because i didn't have a single picture for my birthday i honestly don't want to keep hounding you because i know how it is to, to be super busy with clients and getting work done and you aren't feeling too well but i feel like you didn't deliver and there needs to be a certain level of professionalism and communication because like i said there was a lot of spots where she was not responding and not communicating like okay even if you couldn't get them done the night you said that you could let me know the next morning hey you know i haven't really been feeling good like i told you i ended up going to sleep after my last photo shoot but i'll get them done when i can or like communicate with your clients like come on now so she never responded and then october 28th at 3 14 p.m so the day after, in the middle of the day, she said, hey, I apologize, you're right. I shouldn't have allowed my personal life to interfere with my business and communication. Your photos are on, and then she sends me the link. She said, again, I apologize. If you would like to come by for a session on me, feel free. Thank you. So I'm like, okay, you know, I like the, the apology. I have my pictures now, and then I get a free photo session. Perfect. Y'all, tell me why I clicked the link. It's a fake link. A big freaking link yo like i really could not believe her so i was like hey so sorry for the late reply thank you when i click on the link this is what pops up and i sent her a screenshot of what pops up because bob you sent me a fake link like why you really think i'm stupid like i like i'm in tech <laughs> i know about computers i know about all things photography computers graphics so why would you send me a fake link so then after i said like you know the link isn't working she sent me a new link with my pictures and then y'all the reason why like you know those who've been following me like from jump or like my friends and stuff the reason why i never posted my birthday my birthday pictures from my 22nd birthday photo shoot is because they were trash she did the triplet picture thing but it wasn't the pictures that i wanted the, the six pictures that i sent her i was like these are the three for the first one these are the three for the next one she did what she wanted she picked the pictures that she wanted to um for that i wanted a white background she everything was on a brown background remember how i said some of the backgrounds for one of the looks it should have been white one should have been brown and one should have been pink everything was brown the edits looked like somebody had edited them on facetune i could have did a better job at editing my pictures like y'all know i edit on my instagram pictures like i could have did a better job at that like i looked so airbrushed and so botched and it was just a hot mess like y'all i never did nothing with them pictures like i I just could not believe it I was I cried on my birthday like that was the first time and I'm a cry baby so that was the first time in a long time that I cried on my birthday like literally like I knew that you know it was during COVID so we were supposed to be quarantining or whatever the world had opened back up but like you know we were still supposed to be in the house and I knew that I wasn't going to do anything special for my birthday but I at least wanted pictures to show for it like something like I went out to eat and I went mini golfing with my family at American Dream but I still wanted my pictures like and I couldn't even get those and it was the fact that you knew it was my birthday it was like the blatant disrespect for me so I was so upset like I was so angry I was calling up my friends people that knew her that put me on to her as a photographer I was calling them up and cursing them out because really really on my birthday like are, are we serious so 
come to find out a lot of people talk about how unprofessional that kodak is um same thing happened to my friend tanasia same thing happened to my friend kamora on their birthdays tanasia had to end up telling her a fake birthday date because she told her her birthday was like june 5th and she still ended up giving her pictures on june 7th he still gave her the picture two days late and gave her a fake link too so it's just like i don't understand like i get that you know we are all small business owners but like people like this are why people don't like to support black owned businesses because it's the lack of communication professionalism like if you are you know if something does come up or you know your health comes up or you just can't deliver don't make promises that you can't deliver or communicate with your clients because i'm more than understanding but i just felt like it was just like disrespectful and she ruined my birthday i'm not even gonna hold y'all like i won't yeah like i said i will never book with this person ever again <laughs> and a lot of people that i know that she's done the same thing to like are never going to book with her either like like i said she does amazing work like she's a great photographer but as far as like delivering on your edits you will never get them a lot, like a lot of people are like you will never get your edits so yeah there's that that's my story and i'm sticking to it <laughs> and i hope you guys like this story time don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one bye loves